Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, let's just have three cards. Oh, secrets. Okay. Rival person. Um, yeah, okay. Alright then. Um, this is for those of you, I feel your person, your past person, your ex, who you've been thinking about, trying to work out what's been going on. Because this was a very strong connection you had with this person. Um, twin flame kind of energy. You know, you got on really, you got on really, really well. But I feel they were keeping secrets from you, okay? Um, either calling, email, texting, or speaking to somebody else. Now, it doesn't mean to say that it was third-party romance or if it was just conversations. But they were definitely, I feel keeping conversations hidden from you. Um, I don't know, did they hide their phone? I just heard that, I don't always... Did they hide their phone? It's a strong energy of that today, unfortunately I'm getting, that someone was either hiding their phone or their laptop or or something like that. And there was there was some competition you felt you had with this person okay so i'm going to have a look at that today just see if we can dig a bit deeper on on what this was was about really um like i said i have got your person almost calling texting uh possibly hoovering up somebody else from their past i feel okay that this is pretty clear that it felt like to inflame however you want to describe it, I'm not a massive label person, but it felt like it was the one, okay, that you had met your other half, your other half of your, you know, your, your source energy. But I feel it possibly was love bombing here, because I, I feel they just went from being your saviour to your worst nightmare, okay. They were definitely keeping secrets. They were definitely secrets on devices, I'm hearing so I'm going to have a look at the past that's what I'm going into today I'm going to have a look at the past um, and anything else that wants to come out but let's just see let's just see what was really going on here okay what secrets what what were they what were they up to if it's just for a few people who know this is for you you'll know you know by now if this is your reading if it'll just give us some confirmation okay so I'll give this a shuffle uh, just while I'm shuffling though, thank you so much for watching, all your love, support, everything, I read all your comments. If you're new here and you want to see any more of this content, just hit the uh, bell, yeah, the notification bell. And if you'd like me to help you and you'd like a reading, just click on the title of this video if you're on a mobile. It'll take you through to the description box, links to the website of that, and also check out the free relationship report. Okay, well that was not waiting, was it? Ah, they were devious. Okay, when you first met this person, this one as well, and bottom of the deck, I'm taking this. You thought they completed your life, okay? I feel they loved bombed you. They made you feel very, very comfortable. I feel you came out of a relationship before this person that was not good, okay? You told this person that we're reading on today all about it and they pretended to solve all your problems. This is really mean energy because what they've done is they've left you with more pain than you had when they started and I, I just feel they they made you feel so comfortable with the way they were with you and the way that they listened to you and really got you that's why you felt it was like a twin flame or a soulmate or, or let's just call it the one you know just you just thought that was the one they you know they were going to complete you this relationship was going to last for the rest of your lives and You've got everything. You felt with this person you had got the whole shebangle, all right? But it's the way they lured you in. I heard the word lured. And they made you feel so comfortable and so loved and so wanted. And you told them all 
about how a past relationship ended or the way you were treated. And when you realised this was all going wrong and this relationship was ending, they were, they were doing things to you that you'd already, when they got you in your comfort zone, confided into them that, would, that nearly destroyed you the first time. And they just did it even more. Okay, anything else on the past, please? Anything else on the past? Yeah. God, they love bond you, right? Did this person tell you they loved you within the first few weeks? Did they want to move in with you? Did they have anywhere to live themselves or did they just want to move in with you? This is somebody who moves really, really quickly. Really quickly, okay? Now, they could have been a Sagittarius, they could have been a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Did they have any money? All right. Did they have financial issues? Did you have to help them out here? Did they tell you that the person that they were in a relationship with you, sorry, the person that they were in a relationship with before they met you, did they tell you that that person was crazy or didn't give them any money or had stolen all their money? and they felt very left out and they didn't get on with their ex's family and it was everybody else's fault. It's the unknown, okay? That they tried their best in that relationship and they supported their ex, etc., etc. If so, if any of this at the beginning makes sense, if this is your reading. Oh yeah, they fell for you. You know why? Because you've, you've come out as the Queen of Cups. You are so kind, so empathetic. I feel that you've you they, you could have helped this person financially, or if not financially, you helped them spiritually. Even if they got money, okay. I feel that some of you, they came with a real sob story. And don't blame yourself. Don't don't think why me? Why did this happen? Because people do that to people, and because you have come out as the Queen of Cups, that is your energy today it you know you are empathetic you're kind you're nurturing you'll have opened your doors your heart you've got no money let me help you your your ex did this to you you would have believed them because you are not capable of telling those lies okay people like this don't go for somebody who's like them because well you know met their match two people like that they wouldn't get off the starting gate but they knew that you were so gentle and so soft and so deep and so loving. That you, they, they made you feel sorry for them. Okay. It was finances. Finances. Somebody you connected into had a relationship before. They could have been married before. Or living with someone before, okay, and there were some financial losses when this relationship broke down. Maybe not disastrous, you know your story, but they definitely lost something, okay. They didn't have everything, and there was a lot of fighting. Your person, I feel, this person blamed. I'm not going to say your person, I don't think you want them anymore, particularly. I think that they blamed everybody else for the demise of their finances, their social standing, their status, their house, their what, 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 okay. I think they're trying to hoover somebody else back in. And it's not you. In fact, it was your person who was very emotionally closed off. I think you, I, and I'm, I think I'm reading with someone that is looking back now thinking the ex the ex before me wasn't actually crazy it's this person okay it's this person right okay what's going on in their environment at the moment what are they doing what are they doing partying three people yeah i feel that we're talking to somebody i think they're trying to hoover somebody else back into their life that they haven't let go of i know this is a trigger reading, really. I should really put that on the title, that this is raw and this is the truth here. 
there's somebody that from their past that maybe they had a financial connection to what I was saying before that they hadn't let go of okay and I feel that that is yeah they could have been married to this person or had a long-standing relationship with them the person that they told you was crazy and that they'd let go of three of cups that was their secret they were talking to other people now whether it is specifically that person I think that's what they would have liked to have done but they were talking so it could be the ex-partner go with the snake what's the snake about please yeah messaging they were messaging a rival somebody else hoovering somebody else up possibly meeting up even if it's not for romance maybe going for drinks and stuff okay but they were definitely talking to other people and that is the secret and that is I think I know you know all right but don't ever ever think you didn't do enough or why did this happen to me why didn't I see it no these people it's clever they get into your brain like a worm you know how you learn your alphabet okay it's programmed in if people tell you often enough that you're the crazy one or you're this or you're that drip feeding it passive aggressive behavior in the end your neurons will start to fire differently and you will constantly be seeking their love and approval they will take you from a confident empathetic kind human being to an absolute shadow of yourself okay and they do that on the whole just you know i think people only ever talk from their own experience from what i've seen in life they tend to do that on a pretty regular basis and i'm a very very forgiving person you know just it is best just to forgive eventually when you're ready um you don't really have to you don't forgive them to forget you just think you know what go somewhere else and drink your poison um but it can take time especially for someone today because i feel that right the first card was they their love their love offer their love style they could have done this they could have done that you felt that they were your other half your world your life was complete you couldn't believe how happy you were and then bump okay mm. Okay, what is this past person? Is this past person going to take any action back towards you at the moment? Are they going to take... Oh. I think they possibly could. Two of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Again, though, and I'm going to say trigger warning on this video... Because of this energy and these cards that have come out to start, you know, people call them false twin flames. It was just someone pretending to be something they're not to get what they want. Okay. And I feel that what they're going to do is take some time out. They're going to tell you that they're lonely and they're sad and they need you and they've had time to think about it. And they've changed and they're a better person. Okay. But they're still they're going to come back in with what they said to start with that they've never met anybody like you you complete them you're the love of their life you're the only person in the world for them okay they're going to bring that energy back in but boy they'll still be bringing some baggage they're not going to do this right away they might do this towards the end of the year late winter okay it's a slow burner this one why are they suddenly why 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 i'm just telling why i just want an overall energy it might not be totally detailed is it money is it love is it it's love yeah why they're going to come in they're, they're going to right they're going to disconnect from wherever they've gone eventually they're going to disconnect from wherever they've gone they're going to pull back they're going to make a choice And they're going to come back in and tell you that you're you're the only one. Why are they pulling back? Hot 
break the three of swords it's going to end someone they're going to i feel it's them they're going to pull out of a relationship again okay um they're going to either they're going to be stabbed in the back or someone's going to stab them in the back maybe they have met their match at last you know maybe they have but this is why they're going to come back in in i feel and try and speak to you yeah they are and you know what i think they're going to become a little bit obsessed they're going to be very focused on you <coughs> because you're not going to want to know no you're very closed off to this you don't want to be controlled anymore even if they didn't physically control you because of the way they affected your mental health you felt controlled you couldn't get them out of your head there was a half of you that thought what on earth is going on here what am i doing this is horrible and maybe you left but because like i say it's this is you know science these kind of relationships are as addictive as anything else that is an addictive thing okay anything else and the cycle of approval and disapproval is like nicotine anything else it becomes an addiction and your brain wants it like it wants you know if you're giving up smoking it wants that next next cigarette it doesn't just give up but, you know, unlike a packet of cigarettes, which, you know, aren't actually tormenting, well, they're tormenting you possibly because you want one, but they're not actually talking back to you or making you feel stupid or putting you down, okay, whereas this person did. But they are going to, at some point, I feel, late winter, try and come back in because there's going to be a separation wherever they've gone, whoever they have. But, you know, they've done the same. The lovers, you see, this is the thing with this energy. I know it's what sort of energy it is. This person has gone in wholeheartedly into the next connection. They could have married them. They could be living with them. Oh, this is it. You're the one for me. They've love bombed, love bombed, love bombed. But it's all going to end like this. Okay. And then your person is going to come in and tell you that you are their twin flame. Let's see what else they're going to say. Just a bit of a, might narrow it down for you a bit more today because you'll know their patter. You know what I mean? The things they say when they want something. I'm afraid of what other people will think. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. I understand how you feel. Now I see your side of the story. Okay, so those are sort of some of the energies that they're going to bring in. What gossip are they worried about? I'm just going to clarify that one before we wrap this up. Yeah, they're going to be worried that other people about picking you as a choice. Okay. But you know something, I don't think you care. I'm getting you an advice card. I don't actually think you care. I haven't used these for Asia, so let me just... Um, I'm just going to use my angel, these angel cards. I don't think you care. You're just remaining positive. And that is a really strong message. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, believe in what you're believing. You've got, oh my God, they flew out. You've got big, happy changes and no need to worry. You just keep doing you, all right? You know, this person's probably narcissistic, that kind of energy. And unless they are going to be accountable for what they're doing or going to some sort of therapy, you will be banging your head up against a brick wall, okay? You, you will be banging your head up against a brick wall. Very, very, very difficult. One more energy. Big happy changes though. Oh, wonderful. Something is in the air. Pluto goes into... What's Pluto going? Aquarius. I know it's Aquarius. Um, Pluto goes... Uh, but I'm Aquarian. Uh, for the first time in about 200 years. Don't quote me. And there's going to be... 
if you've been in a really difficult cycle for the last 15, 16 years, especially, something's going to change. Okay, but Pluto going into Aquarius is going to show you. changes. There's old structures, things that you thought you should have been doing or sticking to or constrained. You're going to break out of, okay? I'm not an astrologist, but I can feel it. I can feel there's, a, there's just a change, a real change in the air for a lot of people on many, many levels. On many, I can't... Yeah, it, this just feels like a, an energy shift. I know lots of people talk about that. I don't always, but I do feel, I can always tell it's like a bubbling. I can't identify it, but it just... Something, something. So, anyway, let's get you an advice card. We'll stop talking about my bubbling energy. Although it's never wrong. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is for you. This message is lovely. That's why we got big happy changes. The Ace of Pentacles. Wonderful. You could be in for a windfall. You could be getting an inheritance. You could get a new promotion. You could get a raise at work. You could just... You're going to come into something, okay? You're going to have some wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. Don't think about the how or the when. The most marvellous things I've found in life come when we just go with the flow and just say, it's mine. All good things come to me, it's mine, because that's what's coming in for you. Um, contracts to sign. If you're signing any contracts, if you are still in any legal entanglement with said person we've been reading on today, the contracts will be signed, the papers, and it will go your way. All right, it will go your way. Persist, persist, persist. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay. Um, and if that is for you, I'm being heard as a message for someone today. These people, people like this usually get, especially if their money's concerned, or they're just like a child with all the toys. You know, it's a horrible energy. They will usually get viler, nastier, if they think they're losing something because they don't think they've done anything wrong just grey rock them ignore it you're going to win this you're going to win something okay you've also got something new and exciting you've got something new and exciting coming in okay um if you've got a hobby it doesn't matter what it is and you feel but you've not done it but you just can know that you could do something with this do it. Get it out there. Turn your hobby into a passion career or a passion side hustle. All right. You're being asked to do that. You're being asked to turn something because you are very creative. OK, just do it. Don't worry about competitors because you're going to make the money. OK, competition's healthy. If you're thinking I'm not doing it because there's too many people in that. No. The time to worry is when you have no competitors, okay? Because there's no business model there, you know, there's no... No competitors means no fans, means no whatever, but you've got the King of Pentacles, so you will overcome that. So anyway, I digress. I shall leave you all to it, all right? Take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves. If this is for you, just remember you're amazing, okay? All those things that you keep looping in your mind, it's just because of the mind games, it gets into that subconscious and it just keeps replaying. Try and get some space between you and your thoughts. Just say, this isn't me, this isn't true, these are, these are just thoughts, they're not me. They don't belong to me, these beliefs don't belong to me, they're nothing to do with me, okay? Love you all.